Okay, this is uh, part two of that um, video where I'm going off in another direction using this uh, new pulse motor that I've built and driving it on very, very low voltages, but amperage. And the last video I showed is this is a half half volt solar cell. And that's what solar cells put out is about half a volt until you put them together and you make a panel and you up the voltage. But that thing had enough amperage to run this. I showed it in the last video. Now, um, this is just a thousand a microfarad super cap to store energy between the pulses. And you can hear a little bit of juice still in it using the radio. You can hear the spark. But that's all that uh, that thing right there is putting out. And that's a felt A module. And this is where I'm going with this project uh, based on Granddad's uh, stove fan. It's a fan that works off a wood stove that you put the fan on the wood stove and it uses a felt A to drive an electric motor and turn the fan. Now this particular module, this is the number of it. I'll turn it over here and see it. I got this to do another project to try to make a refrigerator or an air conditioner that ran on a solar panel of, a, of a 5 volts uses a lot of amperage to make that cool down anything but what I'm going to show here is it'll run a motor and that's why this stove fan project got my interest is granddad had his running in a pool of cold water in the window using solar energy to make the fan go so I've ordered one it'll be weeks getting here from China but I found this felt a module I had bought months and months ago to show what what I'm going for here now this is just the countertop and uh, I guess it's about uh, 70, 75 degrees in here. But I'm going to differentiate it with my hand here and try to get this little pulse motor to run on just the uh, ambient temperature and then my hand. At about 100 millivolts, that starts running. And that's just my hand against that cold countertop. And that's like in my last video, it's how do you get something to move with the least amount of force vector? Well, that's not much force vector. I mean, that's not much energy. But that's probably 20, 30 milliamps. And that's the interesting thing. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to differentiate it against cold. This is an ice pack and just warm water. This is like uh, kind of like bath water. Put this on here. Watch the voltage go up on this. You're going to hear the pulse motor speed up. And this is uh, simulating that fan, that stovetop fan. And I'll give a link to Granddad's uh, videos where he's working with that stovetop fan that uses a felt A module differentiated between the high temperature of the wood burning stove and ambient air temperature. But there's the voltage now on this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over to amperage. You would think this would stop, but it doesn't. And that's the amount of amperage I've got. 95 milliamps pulse motor still running are you going to say it's just inertia running it it's not now that dropped it way down on the amperage but let me undo the amperage again here There goes the voltage up. Now, what's going on here is actually that felt A module is heating up and cooling down at the same time. It's reaching a, an a temperature across it. If I push on this, this works better. And this is another thing I'm going to look at is what does pressure have to do with this? 
you hear that motor speeding up? That's a, the, the sound is coming from the radio, the spark on the reed switch. Uh, the radio is picking up on it. By the way, this is the other thing. Look at that LED flashing. Look at the voltage. Less than two tenths of a volt. And yet that coil, that 30 gauge wire coil, the back spike is enough to flash the LED using a Felte module at low voltage but higher amperage. So anyway, this is where I'm going with this project. It's another look at this Felte module that uh, I've worked with uh, a bunch of times before. But in application to a unique motor that will run off the lower voltage but the higher amperage. Thanks for watching.